is finally time for the latest video in my Pokemon series, Pokemon in Real Life. And today we're going to hit Kalos. Fun fact about Kalos, it's actually the generation of Pokemon that has the fewest amount of brand new Pokemon. So this video should be a little bit faster than the others. Of course, if you love the video and you love the series, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to put the link to the rest of the playlist of the Pokemon Real Life series down below. So make sure you check out the others as well. Let's get into it. All right, and starting with Chespin, which I'm usually not much of a fan of, but this real life variant I think is really, really cool. It's kind of like a hedgehog or some kind of rodent in some way, but I think that looks really interesting. All right, and now evolving into a bit more of an armadillo, which is a very interesting look. I like that a lot. Of course, keeping the green color. Yo, Chestnut, though, is definitely getting a bit creepier or a bit maybe scary, a bit more ferocious, I think, in the evolved form. I'm loving the spikes on the back, though, and the claws as well. That looks really, really cool. Fanny get off! Of course, it's based after a fennec fox, which is a real animal and is absolutely adorable. That is really cool. I love that. All right, now that it's evolving. All right, that's kind of interesting. I'm loving the sticks coming out of the tail there for Braxton. So that's really cool because I've always thought of Braxton as holding the stick. So having it in the tail like that is pretty cool. All right, now evolving. Definitely more like a magician now or a witch as it should be. So not too bad. I'm not the biggest fan of the facial features though. I don't... Doesn't look so great in, in the face and it's definitely not cute anymore like Fennekin was. All right, Frankie's pretty cool looking like a frog. Of course, there's not really all that much that you can do with it. So I don't mind that at all. I love like the bubbles around it though. That's, that's a really nice touch. All right, just continuing with the bubbles as it evolves into frog it is. So that's very cool. I like that. Definitely getting like a bigger kind of frog and Greninja. Okay, of course. I, I was expecting to be continued, but of course Greninja from Detective Pikachu. <laughs> so cute. Look how fluffy he is. I've never thought of Bottle Bee to be like that fluffy. That must be a specific kind of rabbit. I'm not sure, but that is very fluffy. I love that. All right. Continuing to be fluffy, which is really cool. Um, I'm loving the details with like the hands on the ears as well. I've always thought that's a really cool thing about Diggersby. So very fluffy, very cool. It has very tiny little arms though. Fletchling. All right. Like a bird, like not much you can do with that. Okay. Fletchling is looking pretty cool though. I'm loving the pattern on the, on the wings and, and the crest on the head as well. Looking very cool. Talonflame, all right, looking like a hawk or an eagle, of course, which is which is what it should be. So I'm glad it's not such a baby little bird anymore. So that's looking really cool too. I like that. All right, I'm just kind of like looking like a fluffy caterpillar. Does that make sense? Probably a bit more fluffy in real life than the Pokemon version, but yep, not too bad. Oh, ooh, I'm not quite sure about this connection here. I can see what they're trying to do. It's like the bug or the caterpillar growing up. Not quite the match there. Not a fan of that one. All right, Vavillain though. Yeah, like a pink butterfly. That's good. That's looking a lot better. I definitely prefer that over the Spupa, which I was not such a fan of. Lily, it looks so cute. Of course, there's a little line cup with the flame mohawk. That is very cool. I love that. Very, very cute. Yo, all right. Pyro looks very cool. Definitely getting the end of Lion King vibes here. You No, you got the fire and from the thunderstorm on pride rock that's definitely happening in these vibes here but that's looking really cool the flames is the main is very very well done all right for baby that's very cute i'm not sure if that what kind of animal that's meant to be but very very cute very cute all right again staying kind of cute still not sure what it's supposed to be it looks aquatic is it meant to be aquatic i'm not exactly sure but there's bubbles and stuff going on but very cute not okay the humanoid Pokemon's always creep me out a little bit when we become like a real life version of them. Ugh, it's the same with the, for Florges. I'm not such a big fan of that. Very humanoid, very, just doesn't look very right. I do like the details in the flowers though. The details with the petals is very cool. All right, yo, Skidoo, very cute. I am a big fan of Skidoo, so that looks really cool. Obviously looking like a mountain goat. And of course, Go Goat as well, looking like a mountain goat. I do like that a lot. I also love that like there's lots of hair coming off it. So that's looking very cool. Panchamp! I d of course, Panchamp, our Detective Pikachu version. Again, looking very cool. Looking very evil or mischievous, I would say, which looks really cool as well, but I do love the leaf. All right, Pangora, also from Detective Pikachu. Definitely has like that derpy. You know when you see some of those dogs that have just got teeth going in all the wrong directions? That's what I'm getting from Pangoro here. All right, of course, Furfru has got to be those fluffy, like one of those show dogs. So that makes sense. That matches Furfru. <gasps> okay oh wow all right we've gone from you know cute fluffy dogs to this it's the stare isn't it the stare that we get on espo anyway that is creepy very very creepy all right meow sticks looking pretty cool though i do like that i love the little flame in the hand that's a cool touch i love the details with the eyes as well definitely look very feline actually looking more feline than meow stick normally looks i think it's the nose and the mouth that is really cool 
Oh, yo, all right. That is a very different look for Honage than what I was expecting. I was just expecting a sword, obviously, but some kind of beetle, I guess? That's that's a really interesting look, but definitely has the features. Like, it's got like the eye and the, the wispy tail bit. That is really cool. I wonder if the rest of the line will be the same. Yeah, okay, two blitz. So now there's two of them, so that makes sense. That's really cool. And Aegis Slash as well. That looks really cool. What an interesting way to look at it. I love how they've taken the concept, and it could have been very boring, but made something really interesting and definitely made it like an animal from real life. That's really cool. Spritzy, okay, that's looking cool. Definitely looking like a bird. I love the details with like the talons and the claws for the bird rather than just really nothing kind of feet. So that's all right. I, I prefer Spritzy like that because I'm not a big fan of Spritzy. Aromatase is looking very fluffy. Definitely got that feather bowery kind of look to it. Very cool, very cool. Yo, and of course, we got to have the derpy dog for Swirlix. It would only make sense. Got the tongue out, being derpy, bulging eyes. It's even wearing a tie. I don't know why it's wearing a tie, but that just seems to make it even more derpy. I love it. All right, this is a little bit different now for Slurpuff. I'm not sure about that tongue hanging out. That's, that's a little bit too much for me. Very, very pink though. Very pink. Not such like a little cupcake that I was hoping to see. Inkay, yep, yeah, looking like a, a squid, of course. That what that makes sense. That looks good. Yo, that looks pretty cool too. The Malamar. Okay, we've expanded here. We've got them obviously both together. Malamar's looking very cool though. I love that. I love that it's still got that squint in the eye. It's such a small detail on something like Malamar, but in real life here, that definitely works out really well, I think. Binacle looking like some barnacles on the on the on a reef or on the rock or something like that. Alright. Yo, the barbarical. Okay, very different here. I thought we we're gonna go for more the, the barnacle kind of look, but no, this is I'm always gonna like, look, kind of look like a cat. I think that might be in the face. It definitely looks like like a cat, I would say. All right, Skrelp looking like a, a seahorse or, or a sea dragon. Maybe Dragalga would be more like dragon-esque. Yo, okay, this is, I was thinking a sea dragon because obviously based on real animals in the world, but this is very different. This definitely makes it look like maybe some kind of sea monster or a dragon in some kind of underwater cave or something like that. That is a really cool look. I really like that. That's not what I was expecting at all. Very cool. Almost makes it look like some kind of legendary Pokemon hidden away in a cave, like a Lugia or something like that. So that is really cool. All right, here we go. Claw and shot after, is it the pistol shrimp? The claw snaps shut so fast. So that's what it's based off. So that's really cool. I love it. It's keeping the colors as well. Nice, nice. All right. Oh, yo, I'm loving this. I always love how small, like, the shrimp is compared to how big its claw is on Claritza. So I'm glad that this is continuing here. That is awesome. It's got a definite, like, cannon for an arm there. All right, Heliopsa looking like a, like, a, is that a bearded dragon? Is that what they're called? They look pretty cool too. I like that. I like it. Yo, this is very cool as well. The evolved form. I love how it's got two forms here. How it's, like, got the frills hanging down, but then... The frill's coming out as well, so that is really cool to see both sides of it. And the flames on the on the frill coming out looks really nice. And even having a look at the toes here, like those claws are like from raptors, so very, very interesting look. Speaking of dinosaurs, of course, Tyrant has to be dinosaur. What else could we do? So that's looking really cool. I'm a big fan of Tyrant and Tyrantrum, so I'm very excited for this. And Tyrantrum looks amazing! It's straight up just looking like a dinosaur, even with the volcano in the background. It's even fighting another Tyrantrum, looking like a T-Rex. This is unbelievable. I absolutely love this. Looks like he's coming out of Jurassic World. That is so, so cool. All right, now, that's for Paw Patrol. Hang on. I was like, all right, different kind of dinosaur. No, that's just straight up from Paw Patrol. Look, I can't say that I've seen Paw Patrol, but I can see the similarities between the two dinosaurs. Brachiosaurus, Brontosaurus, whatever it is. But from Paw Patrol, all right, I had a little bit higher hopes than that. Yeah, okay, Roras is looking a little bit better now. Looking like, again, Brachiosaurus, Brontosaurus, whatever it is. Looking very, very cool. Yo, Sylveon looks so good. It's even, you know what? It's actually the shiny Sylveon because it's got the blue on its face rather than pink. And shiny Sylveon is my favorite shiny of all time. So this is perfect that we get the shiny version here. Looking just like a cat. And I obviously love cats because they're always in my videos. This is awesome. I love it. I do wish I could see the rest of the body and definitely, you know, like the ribbons coming off of its face, but this is unbelievable. I love this Sylvie on here. Oh, Lucha looking pretty cool. Definitely more like not the wrestling route, but the bird raptory kind of route, which is very cool, especially looking at the feet and look at the claws there. Again, we've got some raptor claws. Very cool. Dedene looking very cute. Very cute. Dedene, like a little mouse or some kind of rodent. So that's looking nice. I like the details in the tail as well. Still got that little spike to it. Carbing. Whoa, that looks so cool. I was wondering how they were going to do this. If it was going to look like more like a rock or 
More like a fluffy rabbit, actually. It doesn't look like it's much of a rock at all. So that's very cool. Gumi! Not the biggest fan of Gumi because I hate slimy looking Pokemon and drippy kind of Pokemon. So I am nervous for Gudra. This... Very creepy. Not a big fan. Looks very... It's well done, but it's very creepy. The glowy parts of the cheeks are very nice. That's a good touch. All right, Sligo's looking pretty cool. Like a snail on a tree. I do like that. I do like the environment that they've added here. Gudra. Oh, you know what? I do like it. It does look like a dinosaur, but I still don't like the slimy, gooey bits. But I would say it is better than the regular Gudra, which is just drippy and ooey and gooey. Klefki. What else can you do for Klefki? Don't like Klefki at all, but that's not a bad representation of it. It could have just been any sort of key so at least they've got a bit more detail here the artist yo phantom looks so creepy look at the eyes in particular i think looks like he's wearing a mask or something that is very creepy trevenant looks so cool though i do love that looks like out of the forbidden forest in harry potter or something like that the glowy part of the eye is really nice i really like that Pumpkaboo, I, you know, I always kind of forget that Pumpkaboo is like half a cat and I just think of it as a pumpkin, but now the focus is definitely on the cat side here, which looks very cool. You got the whiskers and the fur as well. And evolving to gore, guys. All right, not such a cat anymore. Definitely more like the pumpkin, but I love the roots and stuff that it's got going on here too, which is really cool. And of course, the background adds to it where you've got the, the full moon there and it looks like it's down the field. I think I see a scarecrow. So very cool. All right, Bergman. That's really cute, actually. It almost looks like a tortoise, maybe? Almost like a frog covered in some kind of shell. So that's really cool. The scales and like, you know, the detail that's in the body there is really nice. I like that a lot. Yo, Avalog is huge though. That is crazy. Look at that. I love the scale in this picture where you compare it to mountains and it's it's like a titan. So that is awesome. I like that a lot. Oh, no, that's so cute. I am a big fan of Noibat. That is adorable. Almost looking like a bunny rabbit with the ears there rather than a bat. So that's really cute. Noivern looking very cool though. Not so cute. Definitely evolved into something scary and creepy. And it looks like we've got some Zubats. And is that a shiny? That's a shiny Zubat in the background there, that green one. Hello, we found a shiny. <laughs> that is really cool though. Very, very creepy. Very scary. Yo, Xerneas looks amazing. I love it. If you've seen my Pokemon Legends version of this, where we go through all the legendary Pokemon in real life, Xerneas is there and I was disappointed by it. This one is a lot better. So make sure you go check out the other video and you can compare it to this Xerneas. This one is so much better. And I love the Butterfreeze and stuff hanging out as well. Definitely looks like it's one with nature as it should be. That is really cool. All right, Evans. So that looks really cool too. That's looking like a dragon dude that is so cool i love it the claws on the end of the tail and the wings look so cool i love that a lot yo and zygarde look how creepy that is look at that teeth they're so sharp it's just giving me like venom vibes don't you think this is like a green version of venom that is so cool all right and dnc that's taking a completely different route i thought almost like the carbink in a way even though they're not related even like carbink this was like a rabbit i thought this was going to go down more of like a rabbit kind of vibe as well and have the big crystals looking like ears but no it's like a mod or a cocoon or both i'm not sure something very fluffy like a moth that is a really interesting look on it so that's really nice all right what did you think guys for only 70 pokemon and callus there's a lot of variety there i thought so i think the artist did a really good job if you love this video make sure you subscribe by clicking down here and if you like the pokemon real life series make sure you check out these videos up here the pokemon fusion video you will love if you love this series thanks guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video